Hi everyone, welcome again to this course. In the previous video, we have set up everything about the Git. We have installed the Git in our system. Now it is time to work on some actual work. And there are a couple of ways actually to start over here. So first we will start with one of the approach and in this approach we will talk about how can you clone a server repository to your local system. Let's understand how things will work over here. To work on this server repository, first you have to choose a server. And there are a couple of websites available in the market. First is this github.com. You can create an account over there and you can create your repository free of cost. Another one is Azure DevOps. So you can simply use dev.azure.com and over here as well you can create your repository and you can use this one. This is also free of cost. The third one is GitLab. You can use this GitLab and you can also store your code over here and this will also work perfectly fine. Next is bitbucket.com. So this bitbucket is coming from Atlassian and this is also one of the best tool that you can use to store your code. Other than that, there are so many other providers who provide you to store your code. And because we are just learning over here, so things are almost free in almost all these websites. There are some paid versions as well, but most of those features are for company specific. If you are working in an organization, then you will see that they are having the enterprise version or the paid version of these websites. So it does not matter which one you are using. Ultimately, the concept is going to be same. There could be some difference in the look and feel. Ultimately, we will store and work with our code from our local repository and the server repository. In this course, I will focus on this github.com. This github and this Azure DevOps are the product of Microsoft. And if you are thinking which one to choose in between them, then I would suggest to go with this github.com. Although this is also very good and there is no problem in that, but github has so many great things that are very good for our code. And I would suggest to go with this one. Although it is your choice, you can use any one of them or light. Now simply use this github.com and create an account over here. Once you will set up all these things, you will create your account, enter the name and everything else. Then this is how it would look like. So over here you will see I have logged in to this github by using my account and there is this option this plus button and I'm clicking on this new repository so it means I want to create a new repository but before that what is a repository so a repository is a container that will contain your entire code all right you can create n number of repositories in your this provider and you can also create n number of repositories at your local system but here we will have to start with one. In general, we create one repository for one project, but this is not a fixed rule. You can store any number of projects in one single repository. So how to create the repository? Simply click on this button, choose new, and here are some things. So here it is asking for a template because we are starting from scratch. So we do not want to create any template. So leave it everything over here. And over here, you will have to provide the name of the repository. This repository name must be unique to your account. So over here, let's say the name. So this is the name that I want to write. And here you can see that this is available. All right. Now here you can enter some description if you want. Otherwise, you can leave it. Now there are the visibility. This is public and this is the private. If you are working for a company, then you will see most of the projects are private because they do not want to give the access to anybody else. And here, if you are opting for public, it means anyone on GitHub can access your code all right if you will see some open source code for example the dotnet code the angular code the react code all of them are open source and you can access all of them by using the github now there is one thing add a readme file so this is again a very basic file that you can add in your repository and basically this is just the introduction file you can write some default informations about your code over here this is optional if you want to add it then you can otherwise leave it and remember this file will have the extension of md it means you will have to write your code in that specific format now we are having this git ignore this is a concept that we will learn in some upcoming videos for now leave it choose a license so the license there are so many license over here and based on these license other person can use it for example if you are having a code and you want to use that in your application then you must check about the license although some of the codes are public but they are not available for your enterprise application you cannot use them in your business application. You can use them for your personal application, 
so these are some license you can read more about that on this github.com and the MIT license is something that anyone can access without any problem so what I'm having over here I'm opting for this new repository I'm not using any template and this is the name of my repository I'm making it public I'm adding a readme file I'm not focusing too much on this git ignore now because this is something that we will learn in upcoming video and i'm choosing this mit license over here you will see that we are having this will set main as the default branch change the default name in your settings all right so this branch is also a very important concept in git and this is the default branch if you are using some older versions then you will see that master is also your default branch you can make any branch your default one but in the latest version this main is the default branch just see if either it is master or it is main then they are the default branch there is no difference in the functionality this is just the name so i will go with this main and let's click on this create repository so we have created one repository over here and this is our code over here all right we are having this license we are having this readme.md file and this is our branch we are having only one branch the name of that branch is main as of now remember i will not focus too much on this github website because we are learning about git and this step is similar on all the websites if you are using other websites for example bitbucket azure devops then again you will have to go to the code section because there could be different menus over there and simply create a new repository once you will create the repository then you will have something similar over here there would be one branch there would be the code and all these things would be there now there would be one more option to clone the code and over here it is available at this place if you want to download the entire code then you can simply download the zip you can open it in visual studio you can also open it in github desktop if you remember the git website then this github desktop is the cli version of the git and here in this course we will not use this github desktop we will use some other ways but which one is important this is the important thing https this is something very important for us https we have to use this https github.com nitish kosik so this is the name of the website then this is the name of my account if you are having any organization in your account then you will see that name and this is the name of my repository learning kit let's copy it and now let's go back to our local folder so here i am in my folder explorer and at this place i want to clone that repository what is the meaning of the clone the cloning means i want to create a copy of the code that i have on the server to my local system so that i can work on this code and then again i can save or send my changes from this local system to the server so what is local and what is server local is your laptop your computer over here you will have to write the code and what is server server is that website the github.com dev.azure.com bitbucket.com gitlab.com those are the server repository all right so let's do it like this so on my right hand side i have the server repository and on my left hand side i am having the local repository all right now let's understand how can we clone this code from server to local so we will have to copy this url and over here we will have to open any command line tool so here i'm, I'm simply opening this command prompt and make sure i'm at this particular path the path will matter a lot because this code will be downloaded at this place all right here you will have to write git and before that let's hit enter if you are getting any error it means you have not installed the git in your laptop and if you want to learn how to install the git then please watch the first part of this course where we have explained everything about the installation of this git and i hope you have already installed the git over here so let's just clean it and here i'm writing git clone these are two things git space clone and then you will have to enter that particular URL so this is the github.com Nitesh Kosik and learning git dot git if you will just press enter over here then you will see that your entire code whatever you have over there will be downloaded at this place so let's just click on this enter button and because this is a public repository so you will see that it is not even asking for any password authentication like that all right if you will clone the private repository at this place then you will notice that this git might ask your credentials for the first time so you will have to enter your github access 
you will have to provide the access to git and then only you can clone the code all right this is very simple step now let's see what we have in this learning git here you will notice we are having dot git folder and this is hidden folder i can see it because i have clicked on this so and this hidden items i have enabled them that's why i, I can see that if you will just hide them then you will see there is nothing over there but let's just enable that okay so now what we have over here we are having two more files one is this license and another one is this readme.md and over here you will see that we are having both of them license readme.md now you can notice that i'm having these green symbols over here and these green symbols are because i have installed one gui which is tortoise git in my laptop and i'm getting these because of that all right if you are not using tortoise git then you will not get these symbols over there and which is totally okay you can use any provider of your choice here we are using the command line so to clone the server repository to your local system by using the command line tool you will simply have to write which command git clone space the repository url and that's it now let's assume that i want to clone it in a specific folder so here i'm writing sample all right i want to clone this entire code inside sample so here i can write the sample now what will happen over here one more folder will be created at this place and i will clone this server repository again to my local system in a separate folder which is totally okay i can clone them n number of times in my system which is not a problem click on this enter button here you will see we are having this sample folder so this sample is nothing this is just a folder that we have written over here if i go inside then again you will see we are having this code at this place so you can use this concept as per your need now let's understand how can we clone this code by using that tortoise git that i have installed in my laptop and tortoise git is something that you can search this is the tortoise git and you can install it basically download it and just install it all right once you will install it then you will see we are having something like this over here and okay so there are two things if you will right click anywhere outside of any repository so these are two repositories i am clicking outside of them then you will notice i am getting the option clone but if i will click anywhere inside these repositories then you will see we are having different options clone pull push there are so many other options that we will learn in some upcoming videos but here because we are just learning about the cloning concept let's focus on that only so what i'm having is copy it and right click tortoise git what i'm doing now i am trying to clone the server repository to my local system by using tortoise git clone and this is the url that i'm having whatever you have copied that will be added as a url over here automatically and now this is the target folder that you will use where this tortoise git will store the entire code and just for the identification let's write tortoise okay nothing else simply click on this okay button and this is the design and the ui of this tortoise git and here you will see that cloning into this part and everything is done that's it if you will see over here we are having one more folder learning git tortoise and we are having all the files at this place so this is also a way to clone the repository from server to your local system now let's understand what if you want to use vs code to clone the repository so this is the visual studio code and if you are not opening any folder over here then you will see we are having couple of options over here we are having this clone repository if you will click on this button source control then also you will see that we are having this option clone repository let's click on this one and i'm getting this clone from github because i may have installed some extensions in my vs code if you are not getting this option then totally okay all you need is that http url of your repository so let's just paste it over here this one and clone from url i want to clone from this url okay let's click on this one and now this vs code is asking me to choose or select a location where this entire code will be stored all right so let's do that and here i can create one more folder learning get vs code you can give any name of your choice okay select and select as repository destination 
all right now here you can see on the right hand side the below side would you like to open the cloned repository so it is saying would you like to open the code that has been cloned but let's see before that what is the operation here you will notice we are having one more folder learning git vs code and again this is the main repository and this is where we are having this entire code all right so if you want to open it then you can simply click on this open button and your entire code will be open over here because we are having only two files so it does not matter too much as of now but this is what we have all right let's close it now let's focus what if i want to clone my repository by using the visual studio so initially on this first window you will see that we are having one option clone a repository you can use this one or if you are inside your visual studio then again there is one more option so we will also talk about that so if i click on this clean a repository then you will see we will have to enter the repository location and we will have to provide a path and then it will download the entire code automatically if i go back and go inside and here you will notice we are having this git and clone repository again i will get the same window and here also i can write that entire url and this is the path basically let's change it to that same folder so this time i'm using vs visual studio so these are the folders that i have opted for this visual studio all right let's click on this clone button this time and see what will happen so it is cloning this learning it from server to local and there we go this time you will notice we are having that main branch over here so as i told before this git is a system that is available at your local system and one exact copy will be available at your server so here also you will see that we are having everything that is available on the server we are having the branch name we are having all the files here are all the files and there are so many other things all the branches and tags there are so many other concepts that we will learn in some upcoming videos but these are few ways to clone your repository from your server to local and if you are using other providers bitbucket azure devops all those things then you will have to find out for this type of url and simply copy it and then you know that we are not even using any name of github over here in the local system we are simply providing the url and then we are using the commands or we are using the gui tool for the cloning purpose that is all in this video in the next one we will see what if if you want to create or initialize the repository at your local system and then from there you want to push the changes from your local to server how will that work if you are having any feedbacks or comments feel free to ask everything in the comment section and if you are loving this course then please like the video and subscribe to the channel this will really help me thank you for watching have a great day